Welcome to New England Wildflower Society's Go Botany Plant Identifier. There are many tools for students, teachers, and anyone excited about plants available at this website, but today we're going to learn how to use our simple ID key to be able to identify 1,200 native or naturalized species of plants in New England. At any point, you can use the search tool and type in the name of a species to learn more about it. But let's get started trying to identify a mystery plant. This application works best with Firefox, Chrome, or Safari, but you can also use it with Internet Explorer. Our first step is to narrow down the broad group that we think our plant belongs to. You can see that there's a handful of groups, and you can preview these different groups by looking at particular photographs of representative species in the group, and you can even watch a short video about your group. Let's pretend today that we think we have an orchid or related plant. Click on My Plant is in this group. Next, we're going to ask you to narrow down your choices still further by deciding what subgroup your plant belongs to. Again, just like with the last page, you get representative photographs, information, and short videos about your subgroup. I'm going to pretend that I have an orchid to identify, and I click My Plant is in this subgroup. Here's where you get to the nitty-gritty of identifying your plant. Click the Continue button, and you'll see a whole range of beautiful photographs of the representative orchids in your group, or you can see a list of them. You can also filter these photographs by showing flowers or leaves or other characteristics. But your most efficient way to identify a plant is to answer the questions on this left-hand side. Let's pretend that we can answer a question about the lower petal of my orchid. You'll see if I was to trace the outline of this lower lip, or labellum, I can simply cursor over that word and get a definition and a small drawing that shows you the definition of any botanical term on the site. You can also see your various choices um, of answers for your lower lip shape. I'm going to pretend that I've got a lobed lip. Look, I've narrowed down immediately to seven matching species of orchids. I can continue to answer questions in any order that I want, or if I've decided I can't answer any more questions in this particular set that I've been given, I'm going to click on the Get More Questions button, and here I can actually tell the program what features I can actually see on the plant. You'll see that the program adds questions based on the characteristics that I've told it that I can see. Also, if I actually know the genus that my plant is in, I can get a search box here or begin to type in the genus and be able to choose it. By choosing that genus, I've actually narrowed down to a single plant, and I can get more information about that plant by clicking on its photograph. Here I can see representative photographs of my species that I think it is. I can get some general information about it, its habitat, and some other characteristics of it, like its arrangement of leaves and the main colors of the petal. If I've decided that this is in fact my species, I can go to a species information page that shows me an enormous amount of information about my orchid. And I can see scrolling photographs and be able to see high resolution photographs so I can look really closely and decide if I've got the right plant. I can also see a New England distribution map and understand about its distribution in North America. I can also learn about species that my plant may be easily confused with and get some information about how to tell them apart. I can understand if it's native to North America and what family and genus it belongs to. I can also get a sense of where it is in New England and if there are any states in which it's rare or perhaps invasive. At any point on the site, I can get help. I can go to a help page that will give me more information. Enjoy using the GoBotany plant identifier and try it out with your own plants.